Welcome to part six of The Devil in Me. Uh, we've already killed someone, which is unfortunate. I thought the inhaler was going to be poisoned or something. Apparently attacking him with the only weapon I had was not a good idea. Anyway, headphones are in. Let's jump in. Where the hell is she? She's got to be around here somewhere. She has to be. Yeah, I'm sure there's a simple explanation. This place is like a maze. She's just turned around somewhere and... And screaming her ass off? Something bad has happened. We don't know that. Bullshit. You just don't want to let this shoot go, Charles. I, on the other hand, have no problem with that. Something is very not right here. Let's just find Aaron and get the hell off this island. Everyone relax, okay? Just give me a second to think. Excuse you. <sighs> And exit stage left, our oh-so-confident and sure leader. What was that? Charlie is thinking. She looks a lot like a temper tantrum. Maybe he's right. If we don't crush this episode, we're all screwed. Are you kidding me? What? I'm just I've saying... I've been waiting on you for ages to actually make a decision about something. Anything. And now... This is when you suddenly choose to take a stand? So the show is more important than the fat Aaron is missing? No way, Mark, come on. We find her and we leave. You're jumping to conclusions. Mark, I don't know what's made the two of you suddenly swap perspectives, but Kate is right. If the show goes down, we're all screwed. Yeah, don't care. I'm gonna find Aaron. Right, <sighs> here's the plan. We've already got a plan. It's leaving. Just listen. Look, let's just crack on with things. I'm gonna go and find Dumet and square everything with him. I'm thinking after standing us up for dinner, I can guilt him into doing an interview. So Erin is on her own? She'll show up. Bravo, Charles. Your delusions make for such great plans. Dumet left. I saw it, remember? Maybe he's back now. Maybe he's not. Would it kill you to think positively just once? I guess as far as Charlie ideas go, it's not the worst he's ever had. It's not even the worst idea I've had this evening. Don't go patting yourself on the back. I still think your priorities are fucked. Whatever. I'm going. I'm coming with you. We're gonna run around looking for Demet. Maybe we'll find Aaron too. I don't care what he says. I'm done. I'm getting my shit together. Kate. Okay. I'm leaving, Mark. You coming or not? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, genius. Where are we going to look first for Dumet? I'm not looking for Dumet. I'm scouting for shots. If he pops up along the way, great. Aaron has disappeared. How can you not care about that? I can care about more than one thing at a time. Wow. You know, working this job, has made me really understand what a sociopath is. Well, our show is educational. <sighs> Asshole. Well, nothing new has popped up up here. I think so. Already read that. Now this count is going to be up to 181. Oh well. What happened here? I no idea. When did this happen? I think we've already read this as well. Aaron! Can you hear me? Can you warn me before you start shouting? Fish hook. I'm starting to freak out. We barely looked. Yeah, but she's been gone a long time now. Erin! For all we know, she and Dumet are outside having a smoke. She has asthma. She's not smoking. You know what I mean. We'll find her.
Wait, what? What the hell? What's she looking at? She's saying something? No, I think she's waiting for me. Nothing changed in here. Nope. Oops. Hey, I found Dumet's business card. It's blank. One of five. Okay. Jamie, over here. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'm freaking the fuck out. It's just blood. Just blood? Are you kidding me? You're jumping to conclusions. Or maybe this is from Aaron. Stop it. You always assume the worst. All we know is something was dragged along this way and it was bleeding. And that's not a cause for concern to you? All right, it's a little odd. Odd? What do you want me to say? Look, it's probably just Dumet or the groundskeeper dragging in some dead animal from outside. Maybe it's our dinner. Welcome, one and all, to tonight's entertainment. Oh, what the fuck? Presented by Grantham Dumet. Dumet? What? So he hasn't left. We're on a TV show. People are watching us or something. Agent Monday on October 12th, 1997, at O'Hare Airport when I was assigned to welcome him off the plane. I'd actually met him once before at a lecture on criminal behavior given a few weeks prior here in Chicago, but I doubt he remembered me from that. I was pretty nervous as the new kid on the block. I was just out of training and I'd been assigned to drive around this big shot criminal profiler who just cracked the Arkansas case, which was all over the national newspapers. My first impressions were that he was tall. Okay. Another coin. Haven't had a chance to use these uh, yet, I don't think. Mm. Okay. 
to inspect this. Oof. Lovely. Is that the glove? out of the way. Thank you. Help, you hear that? Uh, please, help! The fuck? Help me! Please! Please! Are you okay? Do what happened? Are you okay? What the fuck? Stop! Look! What is this? It's a fucking booby trap. You shift your weight off that plate, and this guy is getting run through by that thing. How did you not see that plate? Last time I did what I thought. Let's just be selfless for once. What do we do? Break the fucking door down. Right. On three. One, two, three. Uh, uh. You hear that? Yes. What is happening? Any spirit crystal? Don't do that. And don't make fun of me. Sorry. Wouldn't want you to cut yourself. The rock is sharp as hell and, you know, super magical. It's an amethyst crystal. It helps keep you calm by blanketing you in protective energy. I know. I remember. If you know, then don't call it a rock. Maybe I just feel like you should take responsibility of your own emotions and stop outsourcing the job to a crystal. Maybe you're right. But you don't have to be an asshole about it. Okay, maybe that was a shitty thing to say. I'm sorry. It's fine. This isn't the time or place to... I have to tell you something. Okay. Earlier, you brought up that DP job I blew off. I never told you the truth about it. About what? It wasn't a job, not really. What are you talking about? Remember my friend Murray? He was setting up a studio in Brooklyn, Fine Arts. He wanted a partner. That's your dream. Yeah, 
there is exactly zero money to made. So I thought you tell me it was insane, rightfully, because it would be. Hmm. Why the hell didn't you go for it? Why didn't you tell me? Things were already starting to get tough for us. Oh, no, no, no. Don't put any of this on me. This is all you. I know. I turned it down because it would have taken me away from you. Mm. I, I guess I didn't even think of that. I, I just, uh, what do you want me to say? Guess I was holding out for things to change with us. Deep down, I'm still hoping. Mm, just trying to keep them not fighting. Mark, I have never once shied away from telling you where my priorities were. All right. I get it. We better go. Let's find Aaron and get the fuck out of here. Do you think they found Dumet? I don't care. I'm more interested in finding Aaron, which I'm sure Charles is not concerned with. Why do you call him that? What? Charles? Because he hates it, obviously. Who's going around locking these doors? Dumet is a little helper in the yellow coat. Nope. He's dead. Wait. What's that? Is this somebody's idea of a fucking joke? How is this here? Did you bring this? No. Is that her? Yeah. Shelby. Matching nails? God, don't. We always got them done the same. That's him. What? That's him. The guy in the back. You know him? Kinda did. He was just one of those guys that was always around. We would be at some of the same parties, but that's it. It was my fault. You know that's not true. The night it happened, I was supposed to meet her. We were going to grab some drinks, go to a party. I slept through. It was a big deal on campus not to go out on your own. Shelby waited for me when I didn't show, and. That's when, they, that's when he got her. It's okay. It's not fucking okay. It can't be. I have to live with it every day and now someone knows. Someone wanted me to find this. What the hell is that? I have no idea. But I feel like it's bad. What the hell? Get over here, now. Charlie! <laughs> 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 I can't hold this. Listen, you have to get the fuck out any way you can. Just get the fuck out now! Uh, Jamie! Charlie! What the hell just happened? I, I don't know, but I think it's really, really bad. It's not moving. So now what? We're fucked. There has to be a way around. Yeah, maintenance corridors, crawl space, has to be. Matt, what the hell is going on with them? 
He was nervous the whole way here. I chalked it up to him just being eccentric. There's a lot of miles between eccentric and murderous. Maybe Dumet's not the main person. He's being like controlled by someone else. Let's think about this. Considering how nervous he was. Off. So maybe he found out there was a killer and bugged out? Maybe. Or perhaps the man we met wasn't actually Dumet. And the dude in the mask is? That contraption, that's a hell of a lot to set up. That was planned out, every bit of it. It was set up for us to find. Which makes it even more likely the dude on the ferry wasn't really Demet. I'm not looking at that picture because I can see that door. Trapdoor. Trying to map this in my head. But I think Erin's room door has back been here completely cut through. off. Let me just look. Jesus, Charlie. Why is he messing with her? Because she's the most easily frightened. The most vulnerable. Don't you watch our show. Mother fucker. What? Ah, of course. Brick wall. Keep going. Just like Holmes. I know. I don't want to think about it. Coins up here. Nope. Where's my oh, what the fuck? Is that a kid? Oh, good. You hear a creepy kid voice too. I was worried I was finally snapping. Where's it coming from? I don't want to find out. Charlie, come here. Let's get this open. Damn it. Should have gone down the hallway. This might actually be that hook from the premonition. We're in a bloody nesting doll. What? A Russian nesting doll. You know? A doll in a doll in a doll. Are you losing your shit? Because I don't need that right now. We're locked in a kitchen, trapped in a hotel, stranded on an island. Even if we get out of this room... How do we get out of the hotel? Exactly. Let's have a look at this is. Maybe we just focus on one thing at a time. This room first. You're right. Natalie Morello. Oh, are you... Body. You think? Meet the last party that visited this hotel. You don't know that. Maybe. Fuck. You're probably right. Charlie, I found a way out, maybe. Look, this one swings out. We can probably force it easier than the others. Stand back. That's not what I was expecting. Ah, Amy! Ah! Charlie? Fuck. Charlie? Jamie? 
Hello? Aaron? Keep it down. Where could she be? She can't have just vanished. Mark, come over here. What is going on? <clears throat> are, are we locked in here? Looks like it, yeah. Wait. Shh. What? Shh. You hear that? Is that them? Where's it coming from? Somebody's in the restaurant. What's the plan, Charlie? You end up dead. Charlie, <laughs> can I, um... To Charlie. Oddly, at a loss for words, which means he's thinking about this gold mine he's brought us to. Uh, to my best friend, who's got my back, even if we've been through some shit. Um, to Jamie, who, uh, never fails to say it like it is. <laughs> What the fuck is this? Mark, what are you doing? Just stay back from it. Hmm. I don't know that they're only mannequins, so I wouldn't say that. This is beyond messed up. I don't know what Charlie's gotten us into, but if I see Dumet, I'm gonna fuck him up. Has anyone seen Mr. Dumet? Okay, this is fucked up. What the hell is going on? Why am I examining each one? Jesus, it looks just like him. No way somebody just threw these together in the last couple of hours. Mm. You hear that? Footsteps. And they're getting closer. But Watch out. He invite us here and to dinner and then just leave. Assume they know we're here already. <laughs> Jamie, thank God. I'm so glad to see you guys. We have to get the hell out of here. What happened when the wall closed? Demet killed his groundskeeper. What? Right in front of us. Demet? It's a setup. He was wearing a mask, and I know how that sounds, but I'm not joking, and now he's after Aaron, so we need to move. Wait, hang on. Where's Charlie? I don't know. We got separated. No way this is happening. You know, so when our bodies wash up on the other side Are you of the fucking lake, kidding me? Bodies dead. Jesus, dead. shut bodies. it up! This it's fake. A prop or from an animal or something. It has to be. No, 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 no way. Oh! Oh, it's real. It's fucking real. I told you this was all too much. Let's get out of here. came through his lot too. Do <coughs> man. You want to play around? Get out here right now. 
Let's fucking play!